What does a baby computer call his father? Data. You're welcome. All right, so we're heading into town to buy some boards now so we can finish off the main area and like where the bathroom is because we really want to get some flooring down. But in order to get the flooring down, we want to get the walls done first because I got a mud anywhere that's drywalled. But I think what we're going to do for the rest of it is boards now and then just kind of finish off where the drywall is. We'll use trim to make it like blend in nicely as well, right? Yeah, you want to tell them why? Why? We're switching? Because there's a bunch of snow and ice in the back of the truck yeah. and it'll ruin the drywall. No, so, I don't really try to dig it in. I don't like drywall that much anyway. No, he really doesn't. So boards will work better. and uh, It doesn't matter. Boards, you can break up boards halfway through a wall and it still looks good. Yeah, and the trim, like I said, will totally blend it. So it'll be all good. Yeah. Anyway, we're heading into the big city to see if we can get an abundance of boards hopefully on sale. It'll basically be whatever we find that's on sale. So no actual plan, just going in to see what they have for cheap. <laughs> yeah, big city for... Uh, for us. This province. <laughs> How many people are there? Fifty thousand? No, it's more than that. I think eighty. 60? I think eighty. Eighty? No way. Yeah, I think so. No, you're wrong. Okay, well we'll have to look that up and give you the stats, but I think it's eighty. No, I think uh, Moncton's 90. the biggest city in New Brunswick, and I think yeah. it's eighty-five. Yeah, I don't know. So I think it's more like seventy. Maybe seventy. We'll see. Yeah. I'll put a card. Anyways, Google that's on that. the big city. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice sunny day, so it's a good day for a drive. Go get some materials. It's too sunny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> too sunny, yeah. Okay. I think he's found something. We were hoping for more options. It looks like it's basically one thing. <laughs> Leather. But it's a chip lap, which I way prefer than tongue and groove. 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, and there's fine. 16. I don't know. Uh, they actually don't look too bad. Oh, yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah. Fine. They would be easy to throw on. They'd look good. I think so. Yeah, right. we'll, even get, we'll get a cart. We'll even get them anyway. You can even put them on the bathroom wall or something. That's what I was just about to say. They'll fit there. <laughs> if they don't fit everywhere, they'll at least fit there. I kind of like the house looking all puzzled together. You can literally tell we do it day by day. Because yeah. it's like, this section is drywall, this section's <laughs> this. Yeah. Right? It goes from one to the next. For sure. Okay, go get me a cart. You get me a cart. <laughs> Three. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Are you able to check them? Yeah, this one's a little chewed right here. Do you want that? Are you able to check the crown on them? Oh, no. How chewed up is it? Just the tiny so bit. we can cut that off. Yeah, and we probably will have to anyway. This, both this way don't matter, but they don't look too bad. How many is this? Five? Five, yeah. Oh, there's quite a few. Six. Oh, that's gonna crack. No, that's. I think it's alright though. That pine's naughty. It's been bad. It's naughty pine. Got it all. So Rockwell. Yeah, one bag. Here's the good stuff. Soundproofing. All good. Yeah, I'd say. As long as it doesn't fall. <laughs> Got lots of wood. Alright, so now we're at Montana's getting something to eat because we're hungry after our long drive. <laughs> getting the wood. The cornbread. <laughs> yeah, cornbread. Okay. I know it is so good. I really have to try making it one day. I always have to sit by myself. They sit together on the opposite side of the table. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> There you go, big guy.
so strong. I'm stronger than you. Oops. We just screwed up the flow with that last one. Top board went wonky. You imbecile. Mm -hmm. It didn't take long for that stuff to start freezing to the truck. Holy. Yeah. So we have shiplap pine we're gonna throw on. I just wanted to get one more piece of drywall because we have that one blank spot on the wall. I wanted to get that one on and then we'll go with the pine from there. And then we get the insulation also. We'll put that in, in behind the bathroom so it's quiet. The bathroom's rock sold. All of our bedrooms are too, like with uh, safe and sound to keep uh, the noise down. That's the idea of that stuff. And then we'll put the pine boards over that part of the wall that's left there too and then put that piece of drywall like I said on there and then the boards along the last piece there and then all the boards for now will be done along there other than like trim and stuff and then after that we can get to the floor but I was about to get to putting that stuff on right now but then the whole day the whole life the whole everything just changed like huge moment in our lives came up so I'm not gonna do that right now but stick with us We've got something to tell you All right, so we have some really big news. As anyone who's been here a while knows, Jeremy and I have been trying to have another baby for quite a long time, almost seven years now, and we've had a lot of losses. So I seem to be able to get pregnant easily, but I don't seem to be able to keep the babies, and we've had 14 miscarriages in a row. So right when I was about ready to quit and stop trying, 
bam, we're pregnant again. And uh, I had, I was in the emergency room on Sunday and had my, all my blood work done and everything looked really great. And then I had an ultrasound today and actually saw the baby and its little heartbeat. So that was pretty intense and I shed a lot of tears and we have just been over the moon excited. So I've been feeling really, really sick the last few weeks, like just constant nausea, just so tired, uh, which is all really good. They're all positive signs, which is, uh, it sucks to feel that way, but it's also really great now that I know that the baby is healthy and we are expecting a baby the very first week of October. So we're super excited. The thing that makes this one special is that with none of the other 14 pregnancies was there ever a heartbeat. And today I saw the baby's heartbeat. So that is so promising and so exciting because it's um, it's just you know a lot further along than any of the other pregnancies. They were all like early losses, which is you know nice. It still really sucked and was really hard and really awful, but at least they were early losses. This one has a heartbeat and we're super excited and just like, yeah, just over the moon. So I've been feeling really sick, like super nauseous and super tired and just really taking it an easy like the last couple of weeks. And going forward, I'm gonna continue to take it easy. I just don't wanna put any stress on my body as it's finally growing a healthy baby. So the entire journey I'm going to share over on MBFers on our other channel. So anyone who's interested in following along on that, yeah, um, come on over there and check it out and I'll kind of take you probably once a week what's going on, how I'm feeling, maybe once every few weeks. We have another ultrasound in a month from now, but I've already done the blood work and ultrasound and I have a referral sent into a specialist. So that's really exciting and we'll just take it one day at a time. But if you see that I'm lazing around in the background a lot, that would be why because I'm probably not feeling good. So anyway, we're really excited to share this journey with you guys.